Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here at the Sugarloaf Township Police Department for a very special reason, to talk about a special fundraiser. It is called the Tricky Tray Festival and it will benefit to Christina Doherty, Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 84. And included in that lodge are members of the Sugarloaf Township Police Department. So I am pleased to be joined by Kyle Steinbacher, who is an officer with Sugarloaf Township. He is also the chaplain for the Fraternal Order of Police. And I'm also joined by Dr. Eugene Gorski, who many know throughout the community, who is a volunteer helping with this great fundraiser to help out the local police in our area. Kyle, I'm going to start with you, I guess, okay. first of all. This is a wonderful event that's being held. So this will benefit the Fraternal Order of Police, and that includes a number of police departments. So tell us who will benefit from this. Within the lodge itself, we have Butler Township Police Department, Cunningham Borough Police Department, the Freeland Borough Police Department, Salem Township Police Department, us at the Sugarloaf Township Police Department, Weatherly Borough Police Department, and the West Hazelton Borough Police Department. So now this event will benefit the Fraternal Order of Police, but in fact it's benefiting the communities because you're doing it to help out the communities. Yes, yeah, so everything that we do within the Fraternal Order of Police, we, have, we, we do some stuff for us, but most of our efforts and fundraising go back to the community so we can assist in you know, a number of things. What type of things do you talk about what you're talking so about? Anybody who, during Christmas time, we give out you know, a plethora of money for Christmas gifts, uh, donations to families who are in sick or distress. Um, we donate a lot of our proceeds to officers who are killed and injured in the line of duty throughout the entire country. And also we do scholarships for students in the area, or local students in the area, so, you know, to help them further their education. Why is it important for the police to want to give back to the communities they serve? I can't speak for everybody else in the FLP, but just here in Sugarloaf Township, we have such a strong community that supports us. So we want to be able to give back and support the community that supports us and give back to them as much as we can and help them where we can outside of what we do for a living. I think that's very commendable. I mean, not only do you protect us, serve us, now you're trying to help out the community as well. And one of the persons who is involved in this, I know your wife is like the chief cook and bottle uh, washer for all of this event, and she does not want to go on camera, his wife Nancy, so Dr. Gorski is here to tell us all about it. So Gene, this is happening on Saturday, May 18th from 11 to 3 at the Sugarloaf Township Fire Department. So rain or shine. So tell us about this big event. Why did you guys want to be involved in this? This is a fun raiser. You can leave the D out. <laughs> and we're here to have a great time. And we always have a great time every time we do this. My wife and Mary Beth Wolf are behind this. They are organizers and people have responded beautifully. Uh, there are still prizes coming in on a daily basis. If anybody wants to donate, please do so. You can call my wife or else you could go ahead and donate it right to the police station that's in your area and they'll bring it and have it along for the show when we do it. Uh, this is fun, capital F and it's going to be a great time, so don't miss it. Why is the police department such an important cause to your family? Well, you're sitting here talking with myself and my son-in-law, so that's probably a really good reason. But you support the community in so many ways. You've been involved in other fundraisers as well, you and Nancy, and so you really want the community to flourish. 43 years of being in the valley and being a part of the valley and like I tell everybody this is our family and you know I, I couldn't make that any more clear we really appreciate the camaraderie and the fact that we have the ability to get together have a good time, have a really good time, eat some really nasty food, 
I mean like nasty that you shouldn't, but it's delicious. <laughs> and and it, it's just a great time. Give us a hint on maybe some of the prizes that people can come out and possibly win. We're looking at a uh, swing for the back porch. We're looking at several pieces of electronics. We're looking at some firearms. We're looking at ammunition. So it's, it's not just the regular stuff. It's very, very unique and donated by a lot of people with a lot of respect for the police. So you've heard about all these prizes and that, so good stuff? Yeah, 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 no, we're doing great. Um, obviously, we could always use more. Um, the more money we raise, the more we're able to, you know, have that community outreach and get more um, things done as far as the community goes. Um, we would like to, at the end of the day, be able to say that it was a success. So anything that you can do, if, you, if you're able to donate, that's great. If not, we understand times are tough for everybody, uh, including us. Well, we hope that a lot of people will come out to your big event happening on Saturday, May 18th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the Sugarloaf Township Fire Department. That's 95 West County Road in Sugarloaf, rain or shine. It's called the Tricky Tray Festival. Again, it's benefiting the Christina Doherty FOP Lodge 84, uh, which includes not only the Sugarloaf Police Department, but all the departments uh, that Kyle had told us about earlier. So there's going to be goodies there, too. There's going to be a bake sale, right? Yeah, so there's going to be good stuff? Yes, we have a bake sale coming. Um, we also have, we're going to have uh, Pepsi. Uh, we just found out today Pepsi has donated um, some drink. We're going to have water, hot dogs, barbecue, sausage peppers. It's going to be a whole, we're going to have a good event. Okay, so we're going there for lunch, yep, <laughs> and then we're going to get some goodies, and we're going to win some prizes. So uh, uh, congratulations on organizing all of this to all of who are involved, and I hope you raise a lot of money so you can help out the community. Yes, uh, and just one final thing I'd like to give Nancy Gorski and Mary Beth Wolf a, a huge shout-out. They have done so much for the FOP. They, I asked Nancy as my mother-in-law just to give me some guidance on how to do something like this and she completely ran with it and took over and I'm just watching the show.